hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we are discussing about carl fischer titration and factor by water myself rk batra your host so before we start explanation please press the bell icon and subscribe my youtube channel carl fischer titration and about its instrumentation is explained in my previous video so kindly see my previous video link is provided in the description box carl fischer factor actually this factor gives us the capacity of the carl fischer reagent it is a measure of water equivalent for each ml of the reagent means how much amount of carl fischer reagent is required to neutralize the given amount of water in the sample generally the range of carl fischer reagent is between 5.2 0.26 mg of water per ml of kf reagent for example if we have the factor 5.023 it means 1 ml of carl fischer reagent neutralize 5.023 mg of water means 1 ml carl fischer reagent neutralize near about 5 mg of water as this reagent is very sensitive in such a very low level of water content so it is very necessary to check it every day and it is also affected by temperature humidity standardization can be done by the help of sodium tartrate dihydrate also known as dst or by the help of purified water dst molecular formula and structural formula is shown on the screen molecular formula is c4h8n2o8.2h2o it contains two water molecules having a molecular weight 230 and it contains stoichiometrically water content that is 15.66% now calculation 230 g of dst contain 36 g of water so 1 g of dst contain 36 divided by 230 to convert it it in the percentage form the above value is multiplied by 100 so we will get 15.6521% or we can say 15.66% of water is present in the dst wait for analysis in case of sodium tartrate 75 mg to 150 mg is taken for analysis but in case of purified water 25 mg to 50 mg is taken calculation and its formula is given for dst weight of dst in mg into 0.1566 divided by kf consumed in ml for purified water weight of water in mg divided by kf consumed in ml entire calculation are based on milligrams per milliliter so the factor after standardization would be milligram per ml factor affecting titer stability is shown on the screen the kf reagent is influenced by air humidity temperature and also by light okay 1 degree increase in the temperature reduces the carl fischer factor by minus 0.1% for example suppose we have the factor 5. 050 mg per ml if we increase the temperature by 1 degree then there will be decrease in factor by minus 0.1% and if we increase the temperature to plus 20 degree celsius then there will be decrease of minus 2% in the carl fischer factor instruments and apparatus used during analysis first solid and liquid sample handling kit is shown on the screen milliliter syringe and weighing board is shown in the screen then we need analytical balance microliter syringe weighing board now how is factor determined by water standardization of carl fischer reagent by water first of all clean the titration flask by the help of dried methanol and then start dosing 10 to 20 ml of carl fischer reagent in the titration flask so as to remove the 
any air bubble present in the tubes okay then dispense this kf reagent and again clean the titration flask with the dried methanol then throw this or dispense this methanol and now take for analysis 35 to 40 ml of dried methanol in the titration flask to perform analysis then start the background drift to be okay this process is called conditioning this process remove the background moisture that is present in the titration flask that is in this the moisture that is present in the titration flask has not come from the sample now now we'll take 25 to 50 milligram of water in a microliter syringe and after taking it we will weigh the syringe on the analytical balance and then in the next step we will introduce the sample inside the titration flask after that we will take the weight of the empty syringe and by subtracting the weight of empty syringe from the filled syringe we will get how much amount of water is introduced inside the titration flask and after that we will start the titration and wait for the result so the same analysis should be done in triplicate the titration should be done in triplicate and to calculate after this to calculate we have the formula factor by water is equal to weight of water in milligram divided by kf reagent consumed in ml here note is given take same amount of water in all the three set actually in order to achieve the rsd uh, between or we can say not more than two percent the same amount of the water should be uh, introduced inside the titration flask flask points to remember that if we achieve the Carl Fisher factor it should be not less than 4.5 milligram per ml if we achieve the Carl Fisher factor below 4.5 milligram per ml then we should discard that bottle of Carl Fisher reagent and should take one more new bottle of the Carl Fisher reagent that the fact this factor should be more than that 4.5 then the RSD of Carl Fisher factor should not more than 2.0% it should be below 2% or between 0 to 2% now points to remember RSD means what its full form is relative standard deviation NMT means not more than NLT means not less than and the formula of RSD is given here standard deviation is divided by average or mean so by the help of we can calculate the RSD so here one example is given on the screen see uh, set 1 2 3 is given here in first set I have taken 35.34 milligram of water in second 35.44 in third 35.35 burette reading comes in first set 6.8065 in second set 6.8180 in third set 6.8140 so if we divide the sample by buret reading we will get the factor so first factor we will get in for, for, for first set it is 5.1921 for second set it is 5.1980 for third set it is 5.1878 now the average of the three Carl Fisher factor is 5.1926 so we will calculate the standard deviation and the standard deviation is divided by the average then we will get the RSD that here comes 0.10% and the limit of RSD is not more than 2% thank you everyone for watching my video kindly like share and subscribe my video thank you